you guys, it's your girl Keija and I'm back with you guys with another YouTube channel. Hello you guys, it's your girl Keija and I'm back with you guys with another YouTube video. I don't even know why we say channel. I meant to say video. Yeah, anyways, my mind is all over the place. Yeah, anyways, I would like to talk about today is that I've been keeping a secret for about a week now. Well, I'm still keeping it a secret because nobody knows but me, my boyfriend, and one of my closest friends. My other closest friends. That's the only ones that knows about the secret. But the secret is, you guys ready for this? I'm pregnant. Yes, you guys. I can't talk all loud. But you know, I'm still on my post. But yes, you guys, I'm pregnant. After nine months of me having a miscarriage, I had a miscarriage last year, November. In November. Yeah, it was really sad. I wasn't that far along. It was only seven weeks. But y'all, it was really like emotional pain and physical pain all at once. Like it was hard. Like it was really hard. And for us, me and my boyfriend, to to conceive after nine months was really stressful, y'all. Cause like I really gave up. I was like, I didn't I don't care. You know, I don't care if we get pregnant, we get pregnant. If we don't, we don't. You know, I'm not about to stress myself about this because, you know, I'm still in school. I go to cosmetology school. I'm almost finished. I'm halfway there. One more month, then after that, three more month, three months on the floor. And after three months on the floor, I get to go take my state board test. And after I finish taking my state board test, hopefully I pass it the first time. So I don't have to take it the second, third, fourth time yet. So all y'all know. But I want to pass it at least the first time. So I'm going to have to retake it again. So yeah. And after I pass my state board, I get my license. Yeah, anyways, this, I'm going to stay on topic. Yeah, so, yes, you guys, I'm pregnant. I'm actually um, five weeks and six days today. Today is Thursday. Yeah, I'm, hold on, you guys. So keeping a book of tabs of what I do in this pregnancy because y'all I really want to cherish this pregnancy like I just I just wish the best I pray for the best for me you know I pray every day I actually got a relationship with God now you know I used to only go to him if I needed something or if I was hurt or if I was sad or if I was mad but now, you know, I go to him when I'm happy. When I wake in the morning, like, thank you, God, for waking me up, seeing another day. You know, I'm blessed. <laughs> That's the biggest blessing ever is to wake up, in the, to wake up the next day. Because, you know, anything can happen. But, yeah, I've been keeping, I just started writing this journal, y'all. Like, just started writing because, you know, I've been said I wanted to do it. But I never even, you know, got a chance to do it. But, yeah. Keep all my stuff in here. Yeah, I know I got a messy handwriting. But anyway, you know, I made five weeks and six days today, you know. And I actually found out I was pregnant August 24th. And today is August 29th. So, yeah, I was like four weeks when I found out. Y'all, it was so funny when I found out. Because, like, I kept asking my boyfriend, can we take a test? Can we take a test? And he was like, no, we got to wait. Because he know that my parents were regular. How we found out was funny. So, he finally go, lets me go to Walmart and get a test. It was just, I got two tests. That was a dollar, y'all. Yes, those were perfectly fine. And, yeah, those were perfectly fine. I was being, cause the last, excuse me, because the last pregnancy, I had the, uh, I had the digital. I actually still have the. I actually still have my old pregnancy test for my old pregnancy. You no, know, I had the digital. It's already been six months, so it's not showing up anymore. But it came with two in the pack. You see, that was positive. And then we took this one. We took this one at the doctor's, and it was positive also. 
But yeah, so I just got the two little dolls with myself. Like, okay, if I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, right? Okay, it's right. So, you know, I go in the bathroom, I take the test, and I walk in the bathroom. Because, you know, I just sit on the counter and I walk in the bathroom. I'm like, I'm not going to look at it first. You look at it first. So he's like, all right, bet. So we just get up and go. I'm like, wait, it haven't even been three minutes yet. What you doing? So he goes and he just locks up in the bathroom. And I hear him about to take the other one. He said, I'm about to take the other one. I guess it was, I, well, that was positive. I guess he wanted to see if it was true or was it fake that I had did that or not. But he ended up doing a little tube drop it thing. He ended up dropping it, doing it, whatever. So he finally opened up the door. And I'm looking, and the other one is that I did was already positive. I'm like, damn, that popped up fast as fuck, y'all. Like, in the middle, it was dark, dark. I'll leave uh, pictures up in this video of how my... I probably have it up in the little screen or whatever of how how dark they were. But, it, yeah, y'all, the lines was, like, really dark. So, I'm like, I'm really, like, so pregnant, y'all, like... Real, he was real happy. He gave me a hug, you know. We was, I mean, after nine months of a miscarriage, like, who wouldn't be happy? So, the next day, I wanted to get it on video of the guy I ran across. So, I bought another doll. I went to the, actually went to Dollar Tree and got me a Dollar Tree test. And that's because I wanted to watch the guy I run across. So, I'm recording and I'm looking at the guy I run across and y'all. The test line popped up first. And I thought that was so weird, y'all. It popped up instantly like like that. Like both lines popped up popped up. Like, you know, it wasn't that far apart, but they both like popped up instantly. But the test line was the one that popped up first. So I'm like, damn, y'all, it really popped up fast. But yeah, but I just knew. I knew in my heart that I was pregnant, y'all. Before I even missed my period, I knew in my heart that I was pregnant. I knew because I started getting headaches. I had mood swings, especially towards him, y'all. Like, I hated him. Like, we got in so many arguments for no reason. And, you know, I was really emotional. I was crying over stuff that wasn't even, that wasn't even, you know, that serious. Like, we went to Walmart. And we was getting some hamburger helper. And I like to eat my hamburger helper with bread. I don't know if y'all do, but I do. I get it from my mama. So I love to eat with bread. You know, the bread makes you full. So I told Nick me bread. He told me no. Y'all, I really caught a whole scene at Walmart. And, at, and he told me get it. He was he said he was just playing. But anyways, I just told him. I was like, I don't even want it no more. Like, y'all, I really, I said, you better not pick up that bread. I don't want it. You better not pick up that bread. Anyways, yeah, I was having, um, oh my God, y'all, this one was the biggest one. Me craving Coke. I don't even like Coke. I don't even like soft drinks like that, y'all. Like, I like tea and water and lemonade. That's it. And all I want to drink was Coke. And I'm like, man, this is not good, me drinking all this Coke. Like, y'all, I really don't know why I was drinking all that Coke. And then, everybody knows I don't like McDonald's, especially fucking nuggets. I don't even buy McDonald's for my godchild, y'all. I don't. I don't care the niggas are for a dollar for ten. I'm still not buying her that. Like, no, that shit is nasty as fuck. But that's all I wanted, y'all. And when he got me the ten piece nugget, oh my god, y'all, I ate that so fast. And after that, I still was hungry. So I'm just like, nah, that's really weird. That's really weird. I feel like that was really, really weird. And then. I finally missed my period, y'all. Like, my period was like... When I found out my period was like about four days. No, it wasn't four days. It was like a whole week late when we found out. But around this time, my period was like three days late. And this is a little TM TMI. So if you're a family member or anything, I advise you... Well, I don't care because that's how I got pregnant anyways. But yeah, you know, me and my boyfriend was having intercourse or whatever. We was doing some of the baby making, even though I was pregnant anyways, or whatever. But after it was done, y'all, I kid you not, like, I had really bad pain, like, pelvic pain, y'all. Like, it hurt it so bad. It's like, I couldn't, I was gasping for air. I feel like I was, like, it was worse than period cramps. Like, y'all, it was just so bad. And that would happen the first time I was pregnant. The first pregnancy I had that happened the first time, and I'll after that I'm like, uh-uh, I know I'm pregnant. I know I'm pregnant 100. 
I'm pregnant. I just know. I just know. And before that happened, I was having spotting. And y'all, I was so mad because I thought my period was coming. I was in a bathroom. I was screaming. I'm like, fuck you, Mother Nature. I, y'all, I really was. And I told him, and he was like really upset about it. But then it was weird because I went on with the date and, you know, I checked and it was nothing. Like, y'all, nothing. So I'm just like plant implantation bleeding because that's what they they say but it did happen my first pregnancy they say every pregnancy is different which it is but i still have the, had the old symptoms in this pregnancy like it's really crazy y'all it's really crazy oh and today today i threw up for the first time i don't know like if it was a prenatal vitamins or the pickles and hot chips y'all like I couldn't eat nothing this morning I didn't even go to school this morning because I was feeling so bad because last night I really could not sleep like my my nipples was just just hurting so so bad I couldn't get comfortable I was having abdominal cramps you know they said it's good to have you know little slight cramps it didn't hurt but it was really aggravated because I was trying to sleep y'all I was trying to sleep and I really could not get comfortable because I had this ball pain just in my fucking pelvic area. And then on top of that, my boobs were sore. And then it was hot, y'all. I was so hot, like, I don't know. And then I had to get with, keep waking up the pain. So I can't wait till this first trimester is over, but y'all, I'm really over it. But yeah, anyways. I was eating my hot chips and my pickles because I couldn't eat nothing this morning, y'all. I really could not eat anything. I tried to eat cereal. I just threw that threw that shit in the trash because it felt like I was going to throw up every bite I took. So I ate my hot chips and my pickle and I was feeling great after that. Like, y'all really chugged that shit down. Like, really chug it down. Then after that, I took my Farina vitamin right after that. Because, you know, they say you have to eat for before you take it. So, you know, that's the only thing I can eat. So, I ate and I took that. And right after I took that, y'all, I threw up in my car. I'm glad I had a bag. I had to pull over on the side of the road to, you know, y'all, it was bad. Like, it was really bad. But then after that, I was good. So, I really think it was the prenatal vitamin. But it's crazy because I take those all the time, even on an empty stomach. And I don't get sick. So, I guess... That was my first taste of morning sickness, and I only threw up one. But I know it's too early to tell what I'm having, but I honestly think it's really in my heart that I'm having a boy. I really feel like I'm having a boy, y'all. And I hope I am, because girls, they're hard to deal with, and I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that. But yeah, that's it for the day. I'm about to go. I'm at my mom's house now, but you know, I was with my boyfriend, so I'm about to go home and go to sleep. And you know, hopefully I can go to sleep because y'all been having insomnia like so bad. But yeah, tomorrow I make five weeks in seven days. So yeah, I will try to make a vlog every day. If I don't make up, I probably might skip a day and add it, add all the details in there because you know I have my handy dandy notebook on deck. So I won't forget, you know, like I said, I really want to cherish, cherish this pregnancy. You know, this is my first baby. And I'm really excited. I'm really happy. I'm really nervous. I'm actually scared, though. Like, I just can't wait to announce it. But not until my second trimester. So, anyways, thanks you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy.